the whole way. She didn't see though, but she did walk the whole way. Fine. No, I didn't see it. I, I've been here the whole time. No. Did I not say? Yeah. What? What did you not say? That she was going to walk. Did you try stairs or the elevator? No. There you go. I said that. No. Oh, no. Oh no! You yeah. said I'm gonna put you in the trunk. I'm gonna put you in the car trunk, and I'm gonna help other people. 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 I'm Tell my ex husband that next time you kiss And then on the back, Bonnie, it says, I'm not going to. It should. Yeah. <laughs> it 100% should. I didn't handle that very well. Wish you compared me to Rescue Mary Anna. I'm like, no, we're not going to play with them at all. I mean, at all. No. I used to have a lot of respect for you. She's a fucking. She's exactly what she's campaigned against, and that's how she's making her money and keeping the store open. Like, you're a hypocrite. Yeah. You're selling dogs and cats. That's what you're doing. She'll argue and say, well, they're adoption fees. Really? Why do you charge $350 for a puppy? Whoa. Tell me. That's yeah, not an adoption that's... fee. And they're coming to you and you're not doing anything. They're coming to you with their, their microchip, their neutered, their spayed, all their shots, everything. You are literally putting them in a cage in your store and selling them. So they're getting them from Pat? No, Pat won't do business with them. So where are they getting it just? They're going to Arizona Humane, they're going oh, to Canal, they're going to oh. Cruz. They're pulling them from wherever they can get them. Um, Human Cause for Life is doing business with them. I have my friends with her. Who's that? Rescue uh, Marie. Uh, Rescue Marie. Uh, Marie. Marana. Marana. I she, she asked me, she's like, so are you guys, you guys are like, you, you guys are, are the same as Rescue Marie? I said, oh no, we are absolutely not the same as you. No. Yeah. Yeah. So you shouldn't even have been and he did it three years before yeah. she did. Yeah. It's not like they were they they rushed him and he well, got the baby. It's first. nothing like this. It's it's, it's no. just, it looks like a pet shop. I mean, it, it does. It, it absolutely looks like a pet store. Uh, That's all. You can't even see look through the window and see. I mean, it's I wish I could have seen her face. And I might go out to the store and I say, have you heard the great thing? Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. You watch her face all the time. Oh, she's going to do it. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Because they won't even do, they can't hold their partnership with her. They won't do business with her. Wow. Hello. Hi. Are you guys doing good? Good. You have to sell a lot of dogs to keep that cage around over there. Yeah, she got you. Mm -hmm. Marcia Washer.
Yeah. But he's so super nice guy. Yeah, he's, he's a really nice guy. He was a little weird when he first came out to talk to me. And it was just a really weird vibe. But by the time we were done, it was fine. Yeah. It was funny. I remember when I, because I had taken the baby truck. I took it with me to go down there to pick it up. So he had his people loaded in. I mean, it's, you know, nothing. It's just a freezer and there's no issue at all. Yeah. And so he puts it in the truck and I leave. I go back to the shelter. And this is back, way back. Like, I think the, the tent was only a year old at that time. That's how long ago this was. And I'm sitting in, remember how, like, at Packing you see, like, around the back is where intake was mm -hmm. in that parking lot. Mm -hmm. And then there was the, the, the mobile, there was the clinic, and then in that that gravel parking lot right. where the staff park. So I'm sitting in the back kind of by admissions, the old admissions, and the tailgate's down, and one of the kids that helped, um, he's now a doctor, um, he was at the U of A, he was one of the interns to help with the volunteer program, and he and I are sitting side by side in the tailgate, and Justin Gallup starts walking across the parking lot, oh, look at that, mother and son, I said, you are not old enough to be his, and I looked at Matt and I went, oh shit, I guess I am. I am old enough to be your mother. <laughs> and and this is just in the parking lot. Ha ha ha. I just like bowl over in laughter. Because I was so pissed by the time he caught up to us. I'm like, you know what? Now you can get this thing out of here and go put it where it needs to go. Because I'm not doing it. That's funny. I'm like, I'm so angry with you right now. That's when I volunteered with when Justin was out there. Yeah, I can't Justin believe that we did. didn't We probably did. Just Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because I wasn't doing classes and stuff. And I know a lot of the community walks, I would, I would do one of the like the peanut butter table or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I'm handsome boy. Hello. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one, buddy. <laughs> Monkey, you are a funny dog. Thank you. you like this walk? Wow. Wow. He's transformed so much. It's amazing. It's really, it's really been cool to see. So they've all been out. And a lot of it's been last couple of days. Really, like he was starting to get better, but like these last couple of days. Oh yeah, extremely. Yeah, I mean, I think he's doing much better than he was on Thursday. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, Thursday you still had to kind of and getting ready, you know, going right. by, but to be aware when somebody's going by. But yeah. well, like yesterday, I was amazed. Today, you know, even with that dog that came in there, he kind of he, like kind he of wanted growled. to. I could see it on him, but, but yeah. Well, and that's the thing is, I told that's why I was saying to Holly. I said it's one of the benefits of being on her is we can start to teach her about individual. <coughs> I said it may not fix things, but it's it's the beginning of it. Right. You know. Yeah. So it's starting from scratch. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till we're in that location and we have the and I'm going to talk to Top Dog and see if they will come in and like on the different days that everybody's there and work with everybody and teach them about walking, um, that would be all better. of that kind of stuff, I think it would be really cool for them to do that training. Absolutely. Because then I don't have to. Well, you know, yeah. So, but it might be. Or that. Yeah, he hasn't been out since fall. Uh -oh. Thank you. What are you doing? What is he doing? Did you have a good walk? Yes, you did. Can you play ball with me first? Uh uh. Can you play ball with me before we go? Penny, will you help? Bonnie, what's going on with Merle's leg? So he came into the shelter with a fracture. Okay. Um, and kind of like how Leo did, they put just like they put him in a cast, hoping that it would help the leg to heal properly. But it didn't really seem to do anything from what I've read, and it was causing no matter how much they cut down behind, he had such a sore that it was that was causing more problems than than what the cast was helping. So he's ready to go. He's like, come on, let's go, let's go. I gotta pee. That tail's always swishing. He's a happy dog. Um, happy boy. So, yeah, I think their plan is to kind of check it again soon. Because um, I see how it, there's yeah, like because a... I don't know if that's bone. 
that you're seeing on the on the, the lumps that are on both sides of, of his ankle. I don't know if that's what it is. I, I don't know if it's bone or if it's like it, it's like a callus. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Right. And he does the good thing. Remember back when we had Maverick, the big German Shepherd. He didn't put any weight on his back leg. He ended up having to have it amputated because there was nothing they could do to fix it. Uh -huh. But his, as his day wears on, he uses it less and less. But in the morning when he first gets here and he's out, like he comes out of the vehicle, he's like pulling and, and all of that. So I think okay. there's the potential if he keeps healing. Uh -huh. But I don't know if that's always going to look like that. I don't know. Okay. I know you. Okay. Yeah, I could... He went over there and he chewed, chewed on that thing just to lay down, just to de decompress, you know, just yeah. gonna, because I think maybe it was hurting him, you know, and so now he's back to being ready again. I don't <laughs> you've know. Got his, you've got all of his attention. <laughs> his personality has really come out a lot since they took the cast off, though. Um, he he bays all the time. Like he's got that real. Like, oh like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I he's, remember he's that. like that. Yes. Yeah. He gets excited and, and you can. Uh, somebody was standing here the other day and they're like, what kind of dog is he? And he was actively, you know, ooh, right. really? <laughs> I, I may not be able to say exactly what kind of hound, but can you, can you tell the dog is a hound? <laughs> so. But I don't know, I, he's got that deeper chest like a like a German short hair. He's got the, the freckles for it. Sorry. There's a lot of hounds. Yeah. Kind of looking. Yeah. Not the ears. The ears are a little smaller. That's right. Though. But the face and kind of the mouth, how it feels. Yeah. Like that. Why are you talking about him? What about me? I'll get up to that. <laughs> he knew there was more. He smells it. He was laying down, and I was so happy about that, so I wanted to give him food for doing that. So I really feel like we're not going to have a lot of foot contact in the new location, I think, for a while. We're at the least going to be a pick of a dog again yeah. without the mat. So I really want to hit the ground running with having the door Monkey, monkey, monkey. Yeah. And 
maybe it ends up helping to just get to that box of interest before you go to another box. Mm -hmm. um, I think actually if it was done properly, if you had somebody that's dedicated to just kind of that, that one thing, because then it becomes just a normal, it doesn't have to be for almost another box. So we're not talking about every input, we're talking about dogs that come in with space. Because there's no information about them. Right. So they come in with space, here's the spray holes up, they're already, they've got a, you know, a box for and we're not talking about saying the box that they already adopted. We're talking that we just do this with the most. So, so it would be the two, the box that they're here with people that would be willing to do that. Right. Right. And they came up with a plan, you know, change it out. Right. Right. They were with the existing dogs that are coming up from okay. the company. Yeah. Here's your dog, here's your dog. Right. 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 And so you would add.